Ho, ho, ho! Come in, no, me, leet, Pete. Leet. Hang on, no, that, I mucked that up. Ho, ho, ho! Come in and know me, Lee, Pete, and Susan, better man. And maybe a certain little dude called Doctor. Ah, oh, crap, and then I pressed the wrong button. I would have been good. <laughs> it's okay. We're all drunk. Well, greetings. This is the special Doctor Who Legacy Wednesday night Christmas Eve stream. And I'm here with Lee, Pete, and soon to be joined by Susan. Say hello, boys. Hello. Hello, boys. Um, and we are now live. The vault is now open, and you are earning one Addy Gold every five minutes for your coffers. And we're going to be playing the game, talking rubbish, and generally, hopefully, hopefully being entertaining. So, um, Pete, let's start with you. I never start with you. Tell us about your exciting little Christmassy week. So far, um, gosh. Obviously, I mean, kind of interesting things, not like, you know, you went to the shop. Yeah. Uh, it's, we had, a, we had a, a rush yesterday to try and get the Christmas content approved. That was, that was exciting because everybody else has gone on holiday. So, <laughs> <laughs> Our eternal thanks to Peter and the crew for <laughs> going way beyond the call of duty to get this stuff done. But it's done now, so. We is, it, is it all done? Time. Awesome. Good, good, good. Just in time then, Fino, you know, midnight. Santa apparently has just flown over Baghdad, Clara tells me. Well, no, actually, that's not what it says on track, Santa. It actually says Santa was last seen over oh, Baghdad. I think that's, that's probably more sound, accurate. Sounds a little bit final to me. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, Pete, are you actually, uh, well, both of you actually, are you, go, are you guys going to get any kind of break over Christmas? Yep, I'm off. Well, technically I'm off, but I've got a few things to do. Um, but, yeah, I'm mostly off for the rest of uh, this week and next week. So, guys, if you've got any complaints to make about Pete and the stuff he's done on these streams, this is the week to email him in because someone else will pick them up, all right? <laughs> and uh, Pete, and sorry, and, and Lee, tell us about you. You've been a bit ill. How, how are you I doing? I was tremendously Lovely. ill when I landed in the UK. I was so, so ill. And uh, I'm now over it. It just took a week. I was I sort of didn't eat for five days. I was bedridden. I, I was just drinking water. <laughs> it was horrible. Uh, I use that. You're allergic to your homeland, was, man. It's bad. I use that time to do absolutely nothing, which was nice. That is nice. Nothing is good. Well, what with you being sick and me having the school inspectors in, I think the week before Christmas was a little bit more stressful. Than now we're over it. Now we get to go ho, 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 and whatever else you do at Christmas. Drink. Speaking of ho, 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 some of the people in the chat have already spotted the uh, a little addition to my team. Um, Pete, do you want to tell them all about uh, the legend of Santa Claus and why he's on my team? Uh, yes. The Christmas episode, as everybody knows by now, features Nick Frost as Santa Claus and two of his uh, elves. I, I don't really, I shouldn't really call them elves. Apparently that's racist. Um, but uh, you need to watch the episode. Um, okay. It's great. It's brilliant. It's uh, magical. It is very Christmassy. It's probably the most Christmassy of the Christmas episodes. So um, yeah, I think everyone will enjoy it. And uh, and it also stars uh, Dan Starkey, who uh, I just kept wishing he'd say, "I'm going to kill you all with flaming acid" or something, um, because Dan also plays uh, Strax. Oh, so he's the, so he's in there, not as Strax. Yeah. As uh, well, who does he play? Can I uh, well, I'm not going to say, not going to spoil okay. it. Gotta, okay. Got to check him out. I'm sure you'll recognise him, but uh, yeah, it's great. Cool. And I'm busy taking down the sideband levels. What I'm, what I'm going to try and do here, guys, and this is uh, today's team of the week as well. And don't worry, I will play the tune in a second. But this is kind of. This is my Christmas team that I am playing with. Um, so I've tried to use characters that either are exclusively from or were first introduced um, in Christmas episodes. Um, so, wow, God, I just died while not focusing. Lead your fault. I knew, I knew it would be my fault before you said it. I knew this would be blamed on use, me. It's okay. I'm I'll take the blame. A, I'm going to use a Christmas crystal. Um, and um, so we've got Matt Smith, who was introducing the David Tennant 
uh, Christmas special a few years ago. We've got Santa, who's this year's Christmas special. We've got Kylie mm, from the Titanic Christmas special. We've got Wilf, who I believe was also first introduced in the Titanic Christmas special, although he became a regular he later. Vendor, wasn't he? Indeed, he was. Uh, we've got Clara, who, who although wasn't first introduced once, she was a major part of the Christmas special two years ago, where she was the uh, Victorian version. And, of course, Handles, who was there from the Matt Smith Regeneration one. But I'm trying to unlock Mickey, because Mickey was obviously... Uh, has been in Christmas um, episodes um, as well. So I might then swap the team over. And, of course, I've got a Doctor, a Matt Smith costume, which I'm heading towards as well, which I'm very excited to get in, because, I mean, I mean what, it, what is more fun with playing than an old man at Christmas, quite frankly? Quite frankly. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. You play with as many old men as you want at Christmas, buddy, you've earned it. That's what, it, that's what it's all about. Um, so um, how... So the advent calendar is now over. I believe today was the last day. Is that it, right? It is. Te- I guess technically, you know, last Christmas, the episode based, uh, the level based on the episode is, is, isn't really part of the advent calendar. Uh, so yeah, it, it's over. Um, and it was chaotic and a bit bonkers. And sorry, Peter, for all we put you through this month. <laughs> I'm used to the pain by now. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's just working on a time machine so when he can go back and visit his past self and when people walk into his office and say hi we've got a great idea for a game he can go no (laughs) that wouldn't work unfortunately because um, when when the guys first pitched the idea I wasn't working for the BBC Uh, you especially so they realised that none of them actually wanted to work with Susan and Lee so drafted you I, I think the whole of the US BBC Worldwide team quit after the game started just to get away from us. I think it's actually what happened. It was thrown on, <laughs> just thrown on Peter's lap. They said to me, we've got this great game we're about to sign. Yeah, you really need to work on it. You love Doctor Who, don't you? You love these guys. <laughs> Won't take any, any, any of your time at all. It'll be really easy. Uh, it, it's going to be great. You'll love it. Which is obviously yeah, what happened. Yeah, it's really brilliant. Um, there's, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but there's a whole bunch of people in the chat at the moment saying thank you for the wonderful advent. Lab says thank you for the wonderful advent. Uh, Duke Kenny says somehow you will outdo it again next year. Uh, Liverpool Roo says the advent was fantastic. Thanks for doing it. Um, Firebolt says you've done an excellent job and, and, and lots more comments like that. So I do hope you get a chance to have a little read and get some appreciation and some love from the people. Well, thank you, everyone. We actually, st- <laughs> because we're insane, started talking today about what next year could be. Which we have to stop doing because um, we have a lot of a lot of days between now and the next advent calendar with with stuff planned. Hey, Peter, uh, can I say that the the high level chapter four was approved? Can I say that? Uh, yeah, you can talk a little bit about it. Don't give away the ending though. Oh no, at a very very high level. So I. I um, Lee, just ask Pete to talk about it, then he'll give it away without. Uh, oh gosh, no, Lee's the expert. Um, so. Over the last couple of months, while we've been manically, you know, doing the new season and the advent calendar, I've been running ahead and trying to uh, get on paper what basically what what most of next year will be uh, in terms of the story and chapter four. And I started that by writing, a, you know, a high level overview document because there's some stuff in there which is sort of pushing, it's sort of bending the rules a little bit of the ones we've been put in place, and and some of it's a bit more out there and it's a bit more. Sort of more action packed. It's, it's much more story heavy compared to the. Hang on, Lee. Hang on, Lee. Uh, back up for a second. We're not. We're not talking about what I think you're talking about. Are we? I haven't. How would I know? Well, is it? Is it? Is it brown gems? Is it what? No, it's not brown gems. No. Um, what? Why not? Be, I don't know what that I'll, means. The, is, I don't know what that's a reference. Gems, that's uh, quite creepy. Gem, gems that are brown. You know, we've got blue gems, pink gems, green gems, black gems. No one would be expecting it. All of a sudden, brown gems. No, I. I no, it wasn't brown gems. I wasn't. That wasn't the what I was landing of the on. Brown gems. Wasn't like yes, yeah, we had to get all his permission to add brown gems to the game. Well, well, what could be bigger than brown gems? I was actually thinking if we did add another color to the game, you know, it's it's interesting how the difficulty skews as you add more colors to the board. Anyway, wait a minute, that's going way off topic. Um, if you were going to another, another, add another color, would it be brown? Unlikely, unlikely. Racist. That's like you know, what suit shall I wear? I'll put the brown one on. It, <laughs> David Tennant did it for four years. <laughs> yeah, but it looked pretty damn smart on David Tennant. He pulled it off really well. Everything looks smart on David Tennant. Did you hear that? She's sort White of shouting gems. over at me. It probably sounds a bit angry. White gems. Puce gems. White gems. Crimson White gems. gems. Yeah, Arctic white. That's what we need. I, yeah, I think that's better off, than brown. 
It's a little bit more compelling than brown gems. Purple? Maroon gems. Yeah. Navy blue gems. Not too purple. Anyway, so I... Um, oh, God, where was I before you guys talked? I, I distracted you by talking about brown gems. Um, you know, the, the storytelling in the game has changed dramatically. At the beginning of the game, the first couple of chapters... You know, we launched around the 50th anniversary, and the, and there was nobody had any time to do story, including us. You know, the brand team. It wasn't going to happen, so it was very story like at the beginning. And now we started sort of pushing that and trying to create more more of a story. You know, on a more sort of you know level by level basis, which drives you through instead of it being a bit more sort of jumpy around you. So chapter four is very very heavy in story and um, jumps around, but gives it sort of it's some. What I'm trying to do is some sort of cinematic stuff in there that you just couldn't do on TV. Like, I don't want to give anything away, but big set pieces. Brown gems. Like brown gems. Big, big set pieces. Uh, and I wanted to get all that signed off, plus breaking a few of the rules a little bit, bending the rules a little bit. Uh, and I, I needed to get that out of the way before I started writing the script. And, and that high level was signed off on um, the last few days. And I've also put in the first ch- uh, sort of arc of the next chapter in for submission for, for, for approval, um, which is good. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I don't know if Peter's read it yet, but it's, it's um, I think I'm getting better at writing it. And especially when it comes Mine. to gameplay, sort of tying it into gameplay and creating unique and interesting gameplay around the story. So I'm really excited about next year. I think it's going to be great. I, you know, we have uh, Bigger on the Inside, which is going to be running alongside the story. And then we're going to have these weekly stories coming out. Uh, and I think it could be really, it could be really awesome. And I'm really looking forward to it. So in terms of the order that everything's coming out over the year, I don't know how much you're going to plan it out, but is the, is the next thing bigger on the inside and then after that, the next chapter? Is that how, is that how it's going? Uh, they'll, they'll be alongside each other. So what I'm thinking is we get through Christmas now. We'll, we'll have a little bit of a breather, you know, between now and the new year. <laughs> I, I love how you words there. It's not like, we'll celebrate Christmas. It's, we'll get through we'll Christmas. Take, we'll take a deep breath and we'll just get through this uh, and hit January. And it, I think what we need to do is build, right now we sort of build stuff and get it out. You know, it's it's... Yesterday, we're putting a new fan level. <laughs> this is what happened. Susan says, hey, we have this new Doctor costume. We should do a fan level. It's been a fan area. And can you go build it, please? It needs to be done tomorrow. And then I'm sort of scrambling to do stuff. I think you can show the art off that. Can can we sh- Peter? Pretty, right? Peter, can we show off the new costume that was approved a couple of days ago? Which one? The one from the Christmas the one from episode? This <laughs> the one from this morning, apparently. <laughs> the one we changed the color on a little bit. Twice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you're okay to do that. Okay, so, uh, Addy, see all the email at you, so you can show it. Um, so we tend to just tell me where the email sent, and I'll have a look. I'm I'm busy battling Cybermen. At busy, now. busy dying to Cybermen. So, no battling. Oh, okay. No, how? So what's the phrase? Getting through Cybermen. There we go. So we tend to sort of build stuff and just get it out, and we we need to just take a few weeks to take a breath and build some stuff and check it and make sure it's ready to go because. Our goal is to start releasing content every story content every week. So like on a Saturday morning, just like we used to watch cartoons as kids, you'll be able to load your game up and there'll be three or four new levels and the story will progress. And you, this is weekly, continually, hopefully forever, as long as people like this game, we'll have this story rolling out. Um, but before we start that, we need to sort of just sit back, build a few, get a few in our pocket so we're not just rushing stuff out every week. So what I'm thinking is June, January, we will put out, um, we will put a bunch of expert levels out to expand that part of the game because uh, people have been asking us to. I think that needs to be pushed a little bit. And some more of the Doctor sort of... This the sort of ancillary stuff around the story. Get more of that in it. There's some more Titan stuff coming in January. They've given us some amazing new costumes uh, for the 10th, 11th, and 12th. Peter, I don't know if you knew, but the Titan sent over the cover art for the 10th, 11th, and 12th episodes, and they're really nice uh, costumes that we have hope to put in, uh, as well as some new levels based on the continuing adventures from the Titan series. Cool. And then that'll lead us into either at the end of January or, or very, very early February, uh, based on um, Chinese New Year and some of the holidays coming up, we will kick off the story and that will just run, hopefully, you know, on celebrate on Chinese New Year. Uh, we don't, but it interferes with our development partners a little bit. So we have to take that into account. Uh, um, so, so that, and, and then as soon as, so June, January, we'll be building the beginning of the story of season four. We'll be build, building the first chapter of, uh, on Bigger on the Inside, hopefully. And that, then that'll all kick off uh, as soon as we can, as soon as that's built. Um, can we have a really, really, really long bit of dialogue based around the level, based around the episode, um, listen, and then it goes on for ages and you get really, really paranoid and they start talking about loads of bad guys that are going to come up and all the crazy things that's going to happen and then it turns out there is no enemy and it just says level complete. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's the only... I haven't seen that episode. 
I, I, what? Well, Peter, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So I don't know if you remember, Peter, but we discussed that episode quite in depth before it came out because we weren't sure what, if any, enemies we would have, whether we were going to highlight that episode in the game. So I don't know if you remember, we discussed that, you know, quite a lot. And I wasn't at home the night it came out. And after that, I was Seriously? Seriously? Get, get your backside back to your... TiVo slash Sky Plus player and watch that episode. She, she screams and she's like, you have to, every day I hear you have I, to go watch this. And I'm like, I could, I could, I, off the top of my head, I could probably walk you through the script because... It's the you know, scariest we, episode of the series. We, dis- we discussed it over and over because, you know, when, when we decided not to put the level out, you know, do a level on it, everyone was like, why didn't you do that? I'm like, well, you, you have to watch and understand. The irony being that I didn't watch it to understand, I just had you shout at me. I think Lee needs to return his proverbial slash for Joe for that, right? You know, we should talk about how amazing the Cardiff exhibition is now. Not that it wasn't before. We had so much fun there. <laughs> we've we've all bought our tickets for the Andy Meet. February the 17th, I think. Myself and Hughes Blues and Labradite and Les and Spiggy and Agrajag and maybe Tiny Dancer and maybe Jen Devine and maybe a couple of Vili Dan and Henoir and oh, I'm going to, I forgot, I forgot. I know I've gonna forgotten someone, but others are all going to be wow. there. So... It's gonna be awesome. It is. It's uh, the the experience is great down there. It's it's so much fun. Capaldi just just carries it all the way through, and and the changes they've made there are just great. Um, yeah, I, I, we had so much fun there. It's really 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 good. Why did you go there, Lee? What's that? Why did you go there? I went there because you. <laughs> <laughs> can I? Can I? Can I? It's the leader. I went there because you asked us to do some levels based on the new ex, uh, exhibition. And I thought while we're in town, I should go there and actually do it, so I can I can sort of. Um, more authoritatively create something based on based on our experience. And, and for those who haven't been to the new, uh, new exhibition, I think what's coolest about Wait, you have to lean, you have to lean in with, right here to this microphone. What's coolest about it without... This, this is Susan, by the way. Hi. Hi. Did she just suddenly stop speaking no, in mid-sentence? No. Lee cut me off. I was going to say that what's really cool about it is that there's a, there's a heavy, heavy classic bent to the um to the exhibition and we get asked so much when we're going to do more and more with you know with classic doctor who so i hope people are really excited about what we're going to end up doing with this my mum gave me a christmas present today and it was she's got a friend that works in a charity shop and it's a big pile of doctor who magazine from the early 1980s how cool is that awesome. i'm gonna have I, I hope, i'm gonna have a little I hope you bought, yeah, sorry I hope you bought the 2015 what wind it you know the yearly- microphone, Lee. Microphone, Lee. We need the microphone. Microphone. You know the yearly, uh, what do you call them? Annuals? Annuals. Yes. They dated this. No, it's the 2015 annual, isn't it? You should go buy it. It's really good. The, the Doctor Who one, of course. Not, not just any random one. <laughs> I've got some. You should, uh, you should have a Tiny ton, Rebel Games annual with like the things you've done throughout the year and like like little like word searches based around Lee. Like you could have like a monologue word search where you have to try and find all the words that he used in the monologue. And then you could have like spoilers with with pete and we have to like join the dots and if you join all the dots you can see the spoilers for like the next year and then we could have like interruptions with addy so i could just like pop up at random parts of the book to interrupt the thing that you were currently reading and then we could have you could have like complaints letters with susan it could be like dear miriam for the sun it could have like dear susan with a picture of her and like her sarcastic response to it and stuff it'd be amazing please let's do it please <laughs> you know you want to you know you're sitting there going oh, addy but inside you're like it's going to be amazing. I think Susan sent you that art to show just <clears throat> since you asked when it would get there. Oh, God. You always change the subject when I have great ideas. It's like the whole Catholic Dalek thing all over again. Well, we could probably publish it alongside my um, Dot 2 cocktail book. <laughs> no way. Tell me that's not well, true. I mean, I've been writing it. I'm not sure the brand team's going to approve it, though. Is there a drink called the Dalek? Well, who cares? Just just release it anyway. Smuggle it into I, another. Put it into I another. I might have to leave the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so am I putting this this on stream now? Yeah. Um, this costume. Yeah, yeah. This is the costume coming to the fan area on uh, the twenty sixth. Yeah. Boxing Day. Exclusively for the oh, fan oh, area oh, for, oh. for those wonderful, wonderful people who supported the game by um, opening the, the fan area. Okay, let me. I'm, I'm not playing area. a. Uh, what you call it? I'm not playing Which a tondo. Which street name of the fun area? Because that's that's pretty apt. It'll be uh, it'll right. be quite late on Boxing Day, about 10 p.m. UK time, because I've let the seed guys stay in bed until 6 a.m. 
<laughs> That's we laugh, but it's the truth. Oh, those guys. Okay, everyone. Sorry about that. We are back. Uh, we had a well. I had a technical difficulty. I changed. I changed screen, and the program went no. And uh, we we all died horribly screaming. But we're back now. And Lee has sent me a picture, or Susan has sent me a picture of the doctor holding a biscuit, which is great. Tell me about the biscuit. The Go on, Peter. Tell me about the biscuit. I know it's not a biscuit. I was waiting for Peter to scream at him. I think Pete went to get a beer, which probably then means he needed a wee afterwards. So he's probably gone for a longer trip than this. It's crazy. not a biscuit. It's a tangerine. A tangerine? Something's gone horribly wrong if it looks like a biscuit. Does it look have, like you actually watched the have you watched the trailer? You know, you know this Doctor Who no, thing? I'm... There's a Christmas episode coming tomorrow where one in three adults in the, US, in the UK. We have discussed trailers so many times. You know I don't watch trailers because I will get very angry because I won't need to watch the episode Yeah, but you know it's a tangerine. Fine, fine. Let's put it to the test, okay? What is he holding? Is it option A, a biscuit? Is it option B, a tangerine, however the hell you spell it? Option three, it's a... No, don't run an option thing because it'll crash everything again and we'll be, we'll be sat here chatting with people. I've started the vote. There we go. So the doctor's holding a tangerine. At least he's not... I like, I like the thing, though. I like the pose. It's like scary eyebrows, slightly raised. Here is my tangerine. Is that like a Chris Dingle, then? Is he going to stab it with loads of spikes and talk about Jesus? That's exactly what happens in the episode. How did you know? How did you know? Well, I, I, was, I don't know. I haven't seen the trailer. Ow! God, the game's really loud. That's because I had to reset it. Let me see. Ow, ow, frick sticks. There we go, job's done. Sorry, we were obviously having a conversation before you, before I crashed. I'm sorry. I apologise for interrupting your thing. Please continue. I, you see, I, I go off on discussions and then you, you jump in and I forget where I was. You have to, you have to give me a hint. What's my line? Uh, you were saying about what you're going to write in the preface of the Tony Rebel Games annual. Oh yeah, what I should do. Oh no, no, no. What I should do is uh, like write a cartoon and try to get it in next year's annual. Isn't that how? Yeah. You know, and then when I'm the Doctor in in twenty years' time, when I'm like the fourteenth Doctor, then I can go. Ah, mm-hmm. see, I was in, I was in the annual. That's a good point. That is a good point. Could I be your companion? No. The tangerine's going to be my companion. It's not very animated, Could is I... it? The tangerine, they're not yeah. normally that animated. No, I mean, the conversation. They're very lazy. Really... They're one of the laziest right. fruits. Yeah. Do they have tangerines in... Gallifrey, London, the BBC. Yeah. They don't have tangerines in Gallifrey. No, they don't have clementines. See okay, I'm going to ending the vote. Five people said biscuit, 56 people said tangerine, and 12 people said it looks like a death star. So that actually means uh, about 10% of the populace did not believe it was a tangerine. tangerine. Just putting it out there. Yeah. I'm not saying the quality of your work has decreased. It's just that, you know, 10% of people did not recognise it as a small fruit celebrated around Christmas time. Well, wow. there. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm going to put Mickey in my team. That's so cool. See ya, Clara. You were never really that Christmassy anyway. But here he is, your friend of mine, Tricky Mickey. So, Addy, this is this is Mickey as we first see him in the new series. So, back in Tenant's era, um, Noel Clark has contacted us and says, please do call Nicky, Mickey from the rest of the series. So, that's going to be... Our next thing, we're going to do two versions of Cool Mickey, uh, which will be great. And maybe. Here he is. Race, human, origin. Come, London, Desmond. <laughs> First episode. Do you remember Desmond? Do you used to watch Desmond? Yes. That was in Peckham with Auntie Susu. And first episode, Rose, notable associates, the ninth Doctor, tenth Doctor, Rose, Martha Jones, Captain Jack, Sarah Jane Tyler, K9, Jackie Tyler, Pete Tyler, and his... Uh, power is rise to the challenge, set a bomb and deal 4,000 damage to target enemy after five turns. Can I show them Santa stats as well? Uh, hang on. Uh, uh, Peter, are there any spoilers on Santa's profile page? Uh, yes. Yeah, let's not go there. Was, yeah, not today. Santa, your presence is not required. <laughs> See what I did there? No? This is not the Santa you're looking for. Um, it's a very strange world oh, we live in now, compared to a year ago with uh, with Legacy, where things we can say things like Mickey has contacted us and wants us to do a costume. That's just quite surreal. 
Uh, and we can say things like, well, I was just chatting to Nicholas Briggs the other day, and it's true. I know, it's getting Wasn't strange. Was Nicholas is amazing. Day. How amazing was he that? He was awesome. And, uh, and he's coming on again, I believe. At some, well, hopefully coming on again at some point. We, we, well, after the stream, we kind of said, will you come on again? And he kind of went, yeah, yeah, sure. I love talking about Doctor Who. And we were like, ah! Uh, so, yeah, we might be able to get to... We're so classy. Sorry, um, I was about to say, we might be able to get Noel Clark on as well, which would be great. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not going to ask you about kid adulthood though. It was a very rude film. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's not go there. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Very rude. And do you know what? I'm working in a school and my students always ask to watch it at Christmas time. They're like, sir, I'm always like, here, we're going to watch Shrek or the Grinch. And they're like, can we watch kid adulthood? And I'm like, no, you're 11. <laughs> How do you even know it exists? <laughs> Sorry. Oh dear. Somebody's asking if we saw the librarians with Santa. Uh, is anyone watching that? No. On sci-fi? No. The librarians. librarians? No. No. Okay. Just you. Right, Just you. Friend Obviously, it's library. not getting season two, whatever whatever that is. So what does he do with the tangerine? Spoiler, he, sweetie. Yeah. Oh. You nearly had me there. I nearly said it. Yeah. He doesn't eat it. I have no idea. Does Maybe he... he eats it. Maybe that's it. At the end, he just eats the tangerine. You're all going to find out tomorrow, aren't we? Maybe at the end, just as the credits roll, you just hear him eating a tangerine in the background. <laughs> Is it like a whole, like, you know how, like, Shrek talks about how, like, ogres have layers like an onion? Is he like, you know, like, time lords are like tangerines? You know, you peel away the... Out layer, blah 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 blah, and does like a big speech. Gallifrey is like a giant tangerine. Yeah, oh, that'll be a beautiful speech, man. And it can be like the master is like a date. <laughs> oh, Susan's pointing at the screen, saying we need to mention the humble bundle that went live a few hours ago, and you should all go there anyway and grab all the amazing. Oh, has it the big the big, big the, finished um, stuff? Audio go mentions. get it. There's some great big finished <sighs> stuff there for for zero dollars. Should go and go and grab them or pay where you want. I'm actually going to do that. I, I need. I, I want to because we're going to go. We're going trekking tomorrow across the country. So I'm going to go and grab them, and we're going to listen to an adventure as we travel down to Eastbourne. And then next time, I, next time we speak to you know mine and your friend Nicholas, I'm going to talk to him about it. <laughs> so, so tell us about Christmas Day. What's everyone doing? Uh, ah. I'm going to. Um... Spend the day with my friends. Uh, dinner is being cooked by Michelle. And I imagine there might be a small amount of alcohol. Although, apparently, I've been banned from watching Doctor Who. Because you, you know if it's going to so. happen. And you're <laughs> spoil it. That's not right. <laughs> I, shall, I shall record it on my generic recorder thing. Well. Our plan, because uh, a certain certain Peter was kind enough to send some lovely things to, to Lee and I um, the other day, um, amongst which is a, a cut-out, life-size cardboard pop-up TARDIS. And no yes, way. Yes, way. Life-size. Life -size. And so um, <clears throat> we're assembling that in the morning so that when our little boy gets up, he has to actually open his presents inside the TARDIS. <laughs> yeah. we, it's either awesome or it'll just scar him for life we're not too sure yet. we want him to kind of go to school and have his friends be like you know what Santa got me and, and have him be like Santa didn't get me anything but you know what the doctor got me are you not at all tempted in the middle of the night to make this big like <laughs> type noise until he comes running out of his room and just have like TARDIS there with loads of torches shining on it and just wait for him to scream what's that a choking sparrow that was my impression of the oh. TARDIS after, while half digesting a chocolate bun I blame the button. <laughs> Somebody's asking me if I've got a VCR. No, I don't have a VCR. <laughs> oh, who, who, who has a VCR? Does anyone know what a VCR is these days? I believe it stands for Virtual Connectivity. Something Inter like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. If Speaking <laughs> Image was still on the, the screen, they'd do a song about it, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Although that, that was an ITV show, so we can't talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what we're doing. Um, it'll be quite fun. And yes, I think I think uh, various amounts of alcohol will be consumed, and we're going to try and stay far away from work and tweeting and Facebook and and support. So, if you've been wanting to send in your letters and complaints about Susan and Lee, so tomorrow would be the ideal day. 
Yes, exactly. Because you're just going to get to the end of the day and click select all and delete like a good Cyberman does. Yeah, no, I well, the one thing I, I want to say is it's, you know, it's been a, a tremendously stressful but exciting month. I think that Lee was utterly out of his mind when he suggested, um, and I was even more so when I agreed, to doing a level a day for, for 24 days. Um, but we somehow managed to pull it off. Um, so, oh, so I'm very oh, excited oh, about oh. that. And, um, and I just want to thank the community because we have so many wonderful supportive people that even when things get stressful, you know, we had the DNS attack in the middle of this and, um, you know, all sorts of, of insanity. Um, everyone, um, stayed really positive and, uh, it's, uh, it's just really exciting, especially Christmas time to realize what a wonderful community, um, has grown up in the game. Hope. Encore. Here, here. Yeah. Huzzah. Bizarre. Any any we any questions? Like, do we have any questions? I don't know if, if questions have been coming or not. Do we have any questions? Uh, Small Blue Monkey says, "What is the code for on the humble bundle?" Yes, it comes with the Doctor Who Legacy code, doesn't yeah. it? What is that code the for? The code is probably for things people on this channel have. You know, it's meant for mainly to bring new people into into Legacy. Um, you know, especially big Finnish fans. Um, but it unlocks the Eighth Doctor, the Sixth Doctor, and uh, Charlotte Pollard. The Eighth Doctor. God, is it? He's trying to get. Paul McGann on, on there as well. Yes. Oh, so I suppose Paul McGann's actually in those shows. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I'll, I'll let that one go just this I, time. I want to point out hilariously that, you know, I did that sort of silhouette hint thing that I didn't come up with until a few days ago. And uh, there, mm. were, there were a few people who thought we were doing a regeneration costume for uh, the Eighth Doctor, which I think Lee was really sad to think that he missed an opportunity there. One day, one day we'll be sent to Paul McGann and answer questions. We will. It'll <laughs> Even if I have to drive to his house, my laptop. <laughs> Um, have you asked Noel Clark? Was it Noel Clark? Who's the, who's the guy that plays? No, yeah, yeah. Have you asked Noel's brother if we if he will appear in the game so we can get Ricky as well? <laughs> I think if we have Mickey, we've pretty much got to have Ricky, haven't we? <laughs> um, yeah. What else? Any other questions? Any? Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, God, I just died uh, because I was distracted by questions. Um, will there be any new content around December the 31st, January the 1st, New Year content, says Bagpiper Kevin? Uh, no, um, we're going to Scotland and uh, we're going to be drinking whiskey and eating haggis. About to say, yeah, absolutely nothing. We're going to be celebrating New Year's Eve. Good. Maybe I'll have a uh, Andy tries to catch up with all the things he hasn't completed yet stream. Um... Labradite says, Lee, you recommended that we start saving crystals for bigger on the... Why is that not appearing on the screen? Oh, it is. Uh, you recommended that we start saving crystals for bigger on the inside. Can you give us an idea about how many we should save? Uh, not yet. The, the, the first chunk that comes out for that will be free to get people into the story. Uh, and then the initial chapters of that will, will have some amount of... It won't be many. It won't be many. So you then, anyone who plays the game and saves with any amount will be... Is not many. Is not, gonna, not many. Are we talking? Are we talking in the tens and the hundreds and the? No, not in the hundreds. Okay, not in the hundreds. Uh, but when we get close there, we'll, we'll work it out. You know, we need to sort of play it and, and work how many costumes are there and work out what's a good value for it, and, and you know, and, and see what people's reactions are. And, you know. Sephron says, "When is this awesome twelfth costume likely to come?" It's out now, isn't it? Uh, the, the new twelfth costume is coming on uh, on Boxing Day. Uh, that night, uh, alongside um, Last Christmas, which will be for everybody in the Advent area, and which will reward you with Santa Claus, the fan area will be the place that you have to go to get the awesome new costume for the Twelfth Doctor, which is exclusive to the fan area. Ooh, an exclusive one. Real Tagen says, Lee, can you stop mumbling? Uh, no. No, we, there was, there, the, he has whiskey and cheese, so... He's either going to get mumbly drunk or he's going to get cheesy mumbly. Yeah, we're, so. we're post-advent calendar Christmas Eve. We're going to mumble. Well, hello. My name is the Adipose, and I'm here with Pete. I'm here with Susan, and I think Lee's in the background on the phone ordering a pizza. But nevertheless... Yeah, cooler than that. We, cooler than that. We have, we have uh, some, some Tiny Rebel celebrities in, in the channel, the owners of the Tiny Rebel Brewery. Uh, Lee's brother, <gasps> Brad... And Lee's dad, Ian, are both in the channel uh, chatting cool. away. So if everyone could say hello to Ian and Brad, uh, Lee, Lee hey, would Ian be chuffed. Brad. That's awesome. You're very, very welcome. I hope you enjoy the show, and thank you for 
giving us giving Lee to the world. <laughs> and even more excitingly, no, oh, sorry, less excitingly, sorry, Susan, I apologize. Even less excitingly than that, we have a code for you, which is going to give you some really, really cool stuff. But even though it's less exciting than Lee's dad, it is still um, very, 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 very exciting. Um, and in fact, it actually has stuff in it that I haven't even got. So, Susan, why don't you tell us um, what it is, and I'll put it up on the screen so everyone can see it. Well, I was calling it the 1-1 one, one code since New Year's is, is, is but a week away. And I, you know, honestly speaking, I couldn't figure out what to give away. It's always tough on Twitch. You know, we've given out so much the last... 24 days and and i think twitch tend to be some of our most rabid fans who already have everything um so uh, Ra rabid fans yeah you describe them as rabid yeah, rabid in a good way and also way. i'm Ra I'm, a, I'm a rabid fan <laughs> rabid in a good way yeah um uh, anyway Everyone so it a lot, in uh, a good one way. team slot one time crystal and one of each time fragment and there's only enough for the channel and it expires uh within hours after the channel ends so please go ahead and, and enter it now if you tweet this out or you Facebook it out, I will delete all of your Addy Gold. Okay? Someone did it on Tumblr last week. People keep doing it every week. No matter what we say, somebody always goes off and, and does it. And it just confuses people. We get emails of like, oh, I found this code. Yeah, it cluts up support. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. We will find out who you are and, and we'll hunt you down and, 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 and we'll cancel your TV license, won't we, Pete? Uh... I don't work for that sort see, of TV set, unfortunately. Oh, well. That would be awesome see, if you ever had that power. Is you like? Would. <laughs> no Doctor Who for you. <laughs> exactly. Well, still super anyway, here's the code. So this is... I can turn off your TV license with a blink. <laughs> So one more time then, so it's the 1-1 one, one code. So what is in this 1-1 one, one code then? What, what, tell us one more time. So the team slot, a time crystal, and one of each time fragment. Team slot, time crystal. So don't give it out, guys. This is just for you. This is your special. Please make me code. really happy and let this be the first time I've, I've said this and people actually listened. Because yeah. it'll make me, and, and I'll tell you, as a, as a bit of a, of a reason to do it, it makes me more, uh, more inspired to do really cool codes on Twitch because I know I can trust you guys. No, see there Looking we go. Like that's, a that's, teacher that's the teacher guilt speech there. That is, that was a good one. Mm. Well done, well done, Susan. You can make Very you disappointed in everyone. <laughs> yeah, I'm not angry, just disappointed. <laughs> anyway, along with our disappointment, we would like to say that the card tonight's code is nine five six seven five three five seven seven four. Actually, I should I should do this with the Santa voice, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> well, nine, five, six, seven, five, three, five, seven, seven, four, three, five, four, three, four, five. Well done. <laughs> that was very good. I mean, that wasn't quite uh, Nick Briggs doing the Jadoon, but it wasn't bad. He is the Jadoon, though. That's cheating. That, was that not amazing? We had to play that for our son first thing the next day. I'm like, you're never going to believe it. The Jadoon were on Twitch. <laughs> they were Motor Love or Dog. <laughs> they did the number, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Nine five six seven five three five seven. That was very, very good. Yes, yes. But I am, I am not actually Santa, which is why I couldn't obviously get it spot on. But I, I, I did my best. It's making fun to get Nick um, Briggs like just to do some VO for us for the game. I mean, it, that stuff it takes up so much data space, so it's really hard to, to, to justify it. But I was doing Schmaug. Uh, on a stream earlier today, I was playing with my vocal effects and made it very deep and echoey and was kind of like, I am fire. <laughs> and having, having loads of fun with that. It was good fun. <laughs> uh, no, it was not Brian Blessed. It was not freaking... Oh, they said it was Brian, but it was not Brian Blessed. Who's <laughs> Brian Blessed? Am I showing my Americanism now? Fly my Hawkman! <laughs> it's the guy that shouts in Flash Gordon oh. and the guy that shouts in Blackadder and the guy... Oh, the guy oh that I love shouts. Blackadder, okay. <laughs> the shouty guy. The awesome. <laughs> we we actually have a female Brian Blessed in our chat. Actually, it's called it's Spiggy, but I don't know if she's here today. She just everything's always in capitals. Whenever <laughs> <laughs> whenever she does it, I'm always like, I bet she has a beard and is very excited all the time. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take the code off the screen. Okay, so we definitely don't want this to go out. So this is uh, as a Christmas gift going. to me. Please do not share it. Oh ho. Oh. Oh. Oh, right. We have 10 minutes of the show remaining. I'm going to see if I can get myself a Christmas Doctor Who costume. And other than that, I've got nothing to talk about. So I'm going to pass over to you guys to talk while I play your awesome game. Go. 
Um, Lee just suggested to me that <laughs> I, could, I could I could mention tech changes coming in January. I, I think I, I may have discussed it before, but we've got a bunch of stuff in store. Um, we we have a big promotion coming uh, in early January with uh, one of the devices. I don't really want to say who yet, um, but uh, they're going to be doing some big uh, promotional stuff with us. Okay. And so for the first time, you're going to theoretically have the ability to be a new install of the game and be able to claim something. And so we're really excited about that. Yeah. So it'll be a little bit more elegant instead of saying more interesting things like we have new enemy abilities coming. Oh, sorry, sorry. We have new okay. ally abilities coming. See, I'm the producer. I get excited about the other stuff. But... Um, yeah, we, we, as well as you know, adding characters into the game. We could... Hey, microphone, microphone's are your friend. Microphone's your friend. I'm shouting. Hello, hello. Sorry. Oh dear God! Wow. Okay, microphones are not your friend, but stay nearer them, but not too yeah, we, near. We them. want to keep changing the gameplay up, so we're working on um, some gameplay changes, which will, will you know, subtly but you know, uh, interestingly change the gameplay of the game, especially with the storyline. Uh, if you played the beginning of Chapter Four, you'll know that the doctors disappear and an older, wiser River Song walks in, and that's an important part of the beginning uh, of the new, the ongoing storyline, uh, and has big, you know, uh, implications on the story. But also changes the gameplay in, in a really interesting way. So there's some really cool stuff coming that, that will make the game feel different on a weekly basis, hopefully, when we start kicking in these changes. Oh, and another thing worth mentioning, if, uh, if you're not aware and you play on iOS, is for the very first time we're doing an iOS-only sale. We've done it a few times with Google Play. Um, I went on it. And this is the first time we're doing it uh, with uh, with our friends at Apple. Um, so starting today and going for, I believe it's till January the 2nd, um, you get 20% off um, purchases in-game. Um, so that's a really cool thing and uh, makes it very attractive to like unlock the fan area and things like that. So um, we're excited. We've been doing lots of cool things with Apple lately, and, uh, and they're big fans of the game. We're big fans of them. So um, hopefully we'll be able to do more of these in the future. Have you considered... In light of the current news, bringing North Korea into the Doctor Who Legacy oh, world in any do way, shape, or form. Okay, think. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Saying my phone. Um, what else is going on? Uh, and Windows is in the works. I know you know it's it's been sort of talked about here and there. It is still in in the cards that we're looking sorry, at. Okay. Well, Having a uh, having a Windows Mobile and Windows Client version of the game, we've gone through a little bit of hell getting the devices to Taiwan. Mm -hmm. but... We had this problem with the Kindle uh, when we tried to do a Kindle version. We had to get the hardware to Taiwan, which you would think in this global economy we live in, you know, in this modern day and age, you'd be able to ship a phone to Taiwan, but it's not that easy. You'd be really shocked. And now Microsoft's having issues getting us um, Windows Phone hardware over there, but but we'll get through it. We will we will deal with this. Customs. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I think that's about it. Um, we uh, The advent calendar is, is, is over. I think um, we put in the newsletter today that the plan is on January the 5th. January the 5th, I think it is. Um, we're going to be uh, reducing the drop rate, the advent levels, instead of getting rid of it, uh, to something more in line with the rest of the game. And they'll also be available in the store. Um so that still, you know, gives gives everyone a couple weeks to level up their characters if they're not there yet for some of the more you know, the harder levels. But um, so we're trying to give everyone some warning on that. But that's about it. Sounds awesome. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Stuff. It's going to be a good Christmas and New Year. Is. We have so many cool things in the works for next year. Uh, we're really excited. I'm taking on a giant angel. She's not very <sighs> angelic because she's trying to hurt me. She's frozen my board and my gems. Come on, die. Die, Angel, die. Oh, she's turned off the lights. What the hell? I think it's worth saying the gems. that uh, next year we'll also see a sort of conclusion to the current storyline and some introduction yes. of some new things, which will be good. <laughs> yes, the, the master storyline will end. Uh, but, you know, as we work up to that, we'll be adding... Um, the master from the TV movie, which I really can't wait for. It's going to be awesome. Uh, as we as we continue to round out, trying to get every single version of the incarnation of the master into the game, and we now have the brigadier and the incarnations of the doctor taking down the masters. It it, it basically ends in a war. It's going to be what we're working up to in the middle of next year. 
is a war taking place between the doctors and the masters in the middle. The battle of the the battle of the five regeneration. It actually happens in the middle of a big set piece from Doctor Who history uh, that I'm really looking forward to, and it's I think it's going to be crazy and manic, and it's it's all great stuff. And then when that happens, when that happens, the the new enemy and the, the next big part of the story starts kicking off, and that's even more bonkers than the Doctor going up against all the Masters. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to the next chapter after we wrap this one up. Is it Yeti? It is. It yes. is. Yay! All the Yetis in the world appear and take on the Doctor. Yay! Best news yes, ever. Wrong. Um, yeah. I'm still taking stuff so, down. So I'm, I'm off to start drinking now and get ready for some Christmas cheer. Well... I'm going to plug something oh, oh. for, uh, unbelievably, Doctor Who is not the only thing I work on. We don't yeah, know. I know. Really? Yeah, I know. It's, it's oh, I know. You, you work at a vineyard, which is why you always have wine in your hand, right? Uh, yep, that's right. Yep. yep. Every, every moment of the day, glass of Chardonnay, that's how it gets me through. Uh, I also work on children's things, so... Um, if any of you do have children and you like watching the amazing CBeebies program Sarah and Duck, there is a Sarah and Duck app out now, which you can download for Google, Amazon, and iOS. Sarah and yeah, Duck. Yeah, Sarah and Duck. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It's wonderful. It's very funny. So is, is, is the character a duck or called No, duck? Sarah is a little girl who has a pet duck who's a little bit uh, hyperactive and she's very adventurous and they go on lots of adventures together and it's a brilliant program. And if you haven't seen it, you should check it out because it's really cool. Well, I, I have a seven month year old daughter. Oh, well, a daughter. Is, it, is it aimed at her age range or is it a little bit too old for her? Uh, no, 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 not at all. I think probably you might want to start her off on, uh, on Hey Dougie, which started this week. Uh, which is brilliant. That's a CBBS program about a dog scout master who has a whole bunch of little scouts called squirrels and they go off on adventures and earn their badges and it's very, very good. Squirrels are cool. They're not really squirrels. They're just called squirrels. No. So is duck actually... Duck is actually a duck, yeah. And but squirrels aren't squirrels. No, they're... The, Have you thought about the mixed messages you may be giving to children? One's a rhino. Um, there's a... A squirrel called Rhino. No, no, no. No, it's a duck rhino. called Rhino. No, it's a duck called Squirrel. Don't don't get us confused. It's a duck called Duck. But the squirrel's called Rhino. rhino. So the Rhino is the Rhino is uh, called. That's a different program, I, you see. I, like I said it's from Hey Dougie. What and what is Dougie? Dougie's a dog. Squirrel. Oh, oh I'm stupid. Dougie's a dog. <laughs> of course, he's a dog. Why wouldn't he be a dog? <laughs> I don't know. I just assumed it was like a program from Newcastle where they walk around going, "All right, Dougie. All right, all right." No. No, and it's narrated by um. Oh, God, who's it narrated by? Really? No way! I love them in that thing they're in. Alexander Armstrong. There you go. Well, the master from Armstrong and Miller. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love oh. Armstrong and Miller. Oh, I love well, then you'll love Hey Dougie if you go on to um, iPlayer right now. You'll be able to take a look at Hey Dougie. We had a huge argument here the other day about which ep which Doctor Who episode Armstrong was in because I got it wrong. I th I thought he was a, uh, I thought he was the Sheriff of Nottingham, but he wasn't. Uh, that was Miller. I know it was Miller. That's why I got it wrong. He was in the episode The Doctor, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. He was the husband in the plane. <laughs> so I lost I lost some Doctor Who cred when I got that wrong, but oh, I was close. I was yeah. at least at least it was his you know his comedy partner that I, that I landed on, and, and not something completely wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess they're a bit like Ant and Dec, aren't they? No, 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 no. They're nothing like Ant and Dec. Please never <laughs> compare those people ever again. Which, <laughs> which one is Ant? Which one is Dick? Neither Ant's of them. Ant's the one they're from the, the normal awesome. I've very nearly completed this level. I mean, I assume I've, I don't know. To be honest, I feel like I've nearly completed this level. Lee, have I, norm have I nearly completed this level? Uh, no. Or, oh, how many waves are there? Oh, 70? I don't, I don't know. I'm not playing the game. Seven, 70? No, I, no, that was a joke. Um, ah, this is... Thing is, thing is, though, I wouldn't put it past you. You'd be like, I know what I'll do. I can't play out a level for a couple of days, so I'll just make this level really long. 
That's a great <laughs> idea. You should do that. No levels this well, one level this month. It'll take you at least twenty eight days to get through. <laughs> yeah. You'll just have to like leave your iPad permanently charging. Don't turn off your machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get docked in um, on early tomorrow. Oh, oh is it really? Six thirty. Oh, sorry, six fifteen. Yeah, I can see from my generic planner. Um, six fifteen. It says here. And is it is it a long episode like last year, or is it, it is a long? Nor- it is an hour long. Yeah. My um, daughter likes to watch In the Night Garden, which is also a BBC program. And I believe, although you'll probably tell me I'm wrong now, that it's narrated by Derek Jacoby, which I simultaneously love and hate because he, the narrator is brilliant. But, of course, Derek Jacoby is the master. So, technically, this wonderful kids' TV show program talking about Eagle Piggle walking around going, yes, my name is Eagle Piggle, is also the guy that went, I am the master, and set fire and electrocuted that girl. <laughs> I, I don't watch it, actually. It's, um, yeah, it's a little bit old school for me. Old yeah. school? yeah. yeah. It's an old product. Well, you know, it's a few years old. Has, oh, stop only... distracting Addy. He's died again. Oh, oh, Addy. This has been the worst night of you. Oh, I'm Sunday. sorry. I, my, my whiskey and cheese didn't arrive, so I, I'm not drunk enough to play your game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like Mary Mungo and Midge. That's really classic. Mary Monk, what kind of drugs fueled stuff do you guys do at the BBC? Seriously, <laughs> hang on. So, so is Mungo a hyena or a jack? Uh, no, Mungo's a dog, a midge is a mouse. I, I think. Look, seriously, it's from my childhood, so it's a long time ago. Oh, uh, I still remember Button Moon. Button Moon was, cool. that was way younger my time. You're much younger than you look. I, well, I don't think it was made at the time when I was there. The stuff that was made at the time when I was there was like Thundercats and stuff. Thunder. Maybe Thunder! Thunder! Maybe a little yeah. bit of He-Man. Lee, can you do a Thundercats game? Cheers, thanks, bye. <laughs> um, we should probably wrap this up, I've been told, by the Susan, because we have we have drinking and presents to do. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So I, I didn't know this level was going to be quite this long, so I'm not taking any responsibility for that. We all know whose fault that is. You know, we should add a thing which tells you how many waves are in levels at some point. Well, if I had completed this wave, <laughs> then I would. To have a look how many waves are in a level. Well, my problem was I accidentally may have picked a monocolour team for this level, so therefore I'm only actually attacking it once every seven right. turns. But boy, when I do, it really I'm hurts. really hoping the See? end boss is yellow, or you're going to have a, a really bad time. Oh, I said warning, warning. Does that mean the last one? Um, possibly. I'm not sure. Well, just, just, it's a warning. Yeah, just generally, just warning. Warning, warning, warning. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, that didn't hurt him very much. Ah, bollocks. Okay, let's just... End it there, shall we? <laughs> but you should use, you know, when they flash, you can use their abilities. Like, you could clear the board, get rid of the, the things. Did you know that? Yeah. I've been using those. <laughs> After all this time? I did the freaking tutorial. I know how to play this game. <laughs> look, see, look, I've got a four times combo. Look, everyone's attacking all at the same time, and the Cyberman got a bloody nose. See? He's hurting. I'm still going really fast. I, think, uh, there we I go. think for New Year's Day, you might want to prepare some adverts in case we have some blank moments. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of adverts on. Right. I'm going. You're going. I'm going. Okay. Christmas. Hey, I'm going as well. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you for making us a part of your Christmas. We do hope you enjoy your code. Remember, please don't give it out. Um, I will be here probably Boxing Day. I'll, I'll be doing various streams with various different games. So do come and join me and check out the YouTube channel if you want to. And, of course, you can follow Doctor Who Legacy on Twitter and on Facebook. And you can go to their website and you can camp outside their house because they are in Wales. <laughs> the one house in Wales, yes, yes. Easy to find. The, well, there aren't many houses in Wales, so if if you knock on a door and it isn't them, go next door and it'll be that one. All right. Other than that, ho ho ho! Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> ho ho ho! And we'll see you boys and girls real soon. Goodbye. <laughs>